What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the latest Liverpool news and in this video we will talk about uh, Bobby Duncan and what his agent has released via a statement because it has been exploding throughout uh, the Liverpool circles and Jamie Carragher, Steven Gerrard and Michael Edwards were all dragged into the conversation so you will know all the details that you need in this video and we will read the full statement which uh, is not now not available on Twitter anymore because Bobby Duncan's agent who made this uh, statement has deactivated after Liverpool Twitter went after the agent of uh, Bobby Duncan they found a lot of incriminating uh, previous tweets including uh, homophobic tweets and all sorts of stuff uh, which is of course very very disgraceful and first let's read the actual statement because Bobby Duncan uh, via his agent has hit out at Liverpool accusing Liverpool of bullying him and damaging his mental health after denying him a move away from Liverpool. So what do you think about this statement and also the reaction? I will tell you what Jamie Carragher reacted. But first, let's read the official statement uh, regarding Liverpool FC with Bobby Duncan. And this was posted by the agent of Bobby Duncan. The agent's name is Saif Ruby. And he is also the agent of Sadio Berahino, so that needs that uh, tells you a lot about this guy and uh, how he conducts, uh, you know, the players' careers that he represents. This is what the statement says. There has been a lot of things said the last few weeks regarding Bobby Duncan's future at Liverpool, and today is the final straw of the behavior and dealing of Liverpool sporting director. Michael Edwards. A few months ago, before the end of last season, Bobby had meetings with the Liverpool's hierarchy, including academy director Alex Inglethorpe. It was recognized that Bobby wasn't happy at Liverpool for different reasons and Alex invited us to bring offers to the club for the exit of the Bobby Duncan. For a player with zero first team experience, no clubs were prepared to pay an outright reasonable free for a player they got for £200,000 last summer. With that in mind, we have been able to find clubs that were ready to take Bobby on a season-long loan, invest time and effort developing Bobby with an option to buy for amounts of £1.5 million upwards, which is a great return for Liverpool on a player who will never play for Liverpool, the, for the Liverpool first team and who doesn't want to be there. So first of all, you know, why is the agent talking about uh, the valuation of Bobby Duncan? That's for Liverpool to, to decide what they feel is uh, the adequate compensation for selling Bobby Duncan. So it's not uh, for the agent to decide that. And also, how can the agent uh, categorically say that Bobby Duncan will never play for Liverpool for the Liverpool first team. Uh, the avenue is open for him and for all the other young players and I think he should just, that's, this is just my opinion, I think he should just stay put and uh, try and force his way into the first team in the next few years and try to get a place in the team in the League Cup. By the way, the League Cup draw has been made and Liverpool will play MK Dons in the third round away from home so thankfully finally it's not a Premier League opposition it's League One opposition and it's going to be a really interesting match where we will see the likes of Vandenberg, Kiana Hover, maybe even Bobby Duncan, Ryan Brewster uh, get a start and hopefully bang in a few goals. Uh, so this is what the statement continues with. Liverpool and Michael Edwards specifically made it clear that that kind of deal wouldn't work. So then myself and my team worked even harder and managed to get a deal on the table for a loan with an obligation to buy after five starts with a higher transfer fee than before and a sell-on close to Liverpool. Michael Edwards doesn't believe he will make those appearances and even refused to speak to the club in question sporting director as they believe they can help develop him. So if he doesn't believe in the player and he will never play in the Liverpool first team, why would you even hang on to the player like this? Putting all of that aside, the real reason Bobby missed the under-23 game against Southampton on Monday is because he has suffered some deep mental health issues with all the stress the club has put him under. Stress of being told he can leave but then going out of their way to force him to stay against his will. Not only is he on a very small salary, 
but he also has one season left on his contract after this one and Liverpool have flatly said that he will get, not get a new one, he will not get a new contract. Bobby has not left his room for four days because of this and will never go back to Liverpool again and my only concern now is his mental health and well-being. I mean, why, why would you drag mental health into this issue? And later, Liverpool Twitter, after this statement came out, dug through the tweets of uh, this agent and found actually tweets mocking somebody's mental health. So that shows how, uh, you know, contradictory this uh, personality is, this guy's personality is. And uh, I think this is just... A big load of uh, of uh, bollocks, if you ask me, to blame uh, Bobby Duncan uh, not playing in the under 23 game on his mental health. Yes, it might take a toll on his mental health, but you shouldn't talk about this in public. You shouldn't drag Bobby Duncan's name through the mud like this. If you if Bobby Duncan seriously has mental health issues. You don't blast it out into the football world. You deal with it privately. You take Bobby Duncan to uh, therapy. Uh, you, you give him all the support that he needs, but privately, without the public eye. This is why I think it's, it's disgraceful that he dragged uh, Bobby Duncan and mental health into this conversation publicly and and it's it's not the right thing to do in my opinion and also blaming Liverpool for this uh, listen to this this is I think the harshest bit the Liverpool hierarchy have shown zero consideration to Bobby Duncan's mental health and have even gone on, uh, as far as saying in writing that they will punish him and make him stay at the club until January and beyond to teach him a lesson this is not really dignified behavior from a club with a rich history of Liverpool and one who, one of their greatest ever players, Steven Gerrard, happens to be Bobby's cousin. It's a, sta it's a sad state of affairs that a club such as Liverpool can be allowed to get away with mentally bullying and destroying the life of a young man such as Bobby. I know one thing for sure and that he's, is he's never going to back there again and he's on a, such a small salary that no amount of fines will even make a difference. In this situation all that matters is the player's health. In this case Michael Edwards has totally ignored that because of his own stubbornness and even called Bobby petulant when in reality the boy is in real trouble mentally, physically and emotionally because of this and I really pray that his experience doesn't happen to any young players again. Just take this into context. Bobby Duncan, as an 18 year old young, basically a kid, is earning 15,000 pounds per week. That's 60, more than 60,000 pounds per month. That the agent is saying that's a small salary. Bobby Duncan, as an 18 year old kid, is earning as much as some people are earning in a whole year he's earning that in a month and the agent is calling that a small salary and saying that no amount of fine will make a difference basically because he's earning peanuts how out of touch can you be with with society and i know that in the football world in the premier league fifteen thousand pounds per week is a small salary but for an 18 year old i think that's incredible amounts of money I mean, he can buy a car with a one a month salary easily. How, how often can an 18 year old kid buy a car <laughs> as an 18 year old unless his parents help him out? That's not a small salary and I think this is why this, this statement by the agent is very out of touch, very disgraceful and no wonder the Liverpool Twitter got really angry at this guy and Liverpool fans in general. The various references to money and to Steven Gerrard, to drag Steven Gerrard into this conversation didn't go down well as you can expect and also Liverpool fans have been reacting to this story and Jamie Carragher has actually reacted to this story and uh, Ruby, the agent, was taken down on Twitter. He got deactivated apparently and this is what Jamie Carragher said about uh, everything in the statement. So this is what Jamie Carragher said about the whole situation. I know Bobby Duncan and his family well. He is young and at that age we all want everything right now. 
He played for the first team in preseason, which is a great start, and he should try and develop this season and maybe make the bench in uh, the Carabao Cup, the League Cup. That should be the advice you give, you are giving him, you clown. <laughs> he replied to one of the agent's uh, tweets, and also this is this is uh, what Jamie Carragher continued with. There is a problem, and it's you. You take on the most powerful person at the club besides club, Michael Edwards. Madness! Liverpool will never deal with you again. I think Bobby Duncan should leave this guy, the agent, before he gets sagged by the club. That is, that is true. I think Bobby Duncan should leave his agent uh, before Liverpool take drastic measures, because if Bobby Duncan sticks with the agent, Liverpool will definitely, um, you know, take harsh punishment. And Bobby Duncan is a boyhood Liverpool fan. He was growing up as a Steven Gerrard's cousin, supporting Liverpool. Bobby Duncan should really distance himself and part ways with the agent. Otherwise, he's digging himself a big, big hole. And this is huge. Liverpool Football Club has also released a statement via a spokesperson. This is what the statement said. Liverpool Football Club is aware of and disappointed by the unattributed comments and unfounded allegations that have been made in the media regarding one of our players. As the interests of the player in question are not best served by either inaccurate speculation, inflammatory statements or public discourse, we will be making no further comment. We will, however, continue our efforts to work privately with the player to find a res resolution in the best interests of all involved. Liverpool basically are not involved in a slagging off match, uh, you know, putting statements out to disprove uh, anything or everything that the agent said. However, they will definitely deal with this privately and I think this is the right thing to do. Bobby Duncan uh, doesn't need any more attention if the claims are true and uh, he has suffered from mental health issues. He needs all the support he, he, get, he can get privately. You, it shouldn't be in the public eye, it should be privately dealt with. Liverpool need to sit down with Bobby Duncan and talk him uh, through of what Liverpool's plans are with Duncan, what Bobby Duncan wants to do. And I think at 18 years old, you need to be patient, you need to wait for your chance and try to uh, play for Liverpool in the League Cup and show, that, show Jurgen Klopp that you are good enough. And if not, you, he should go out on loan uh, for a year and just try his luck elsewhere. But I think this uh, this is uh, definitely not the right thing to do for the agent. I'm not sure how much involvement Bobby Duncan has in this. That's the difficult thing to judge. We are not, not sure whether the agent posted this statement on his own or whether he consulted with Bobby Duncan and how much this statement comes from Bobby Duncan himself and how much of the statement comes from the agent. It's very hard to tell and it's, go it's going to be very interesting uh, how this story develops. It's worth noting that Bobby Duncan has endorsed the statement at first when it came out. He brought it to the wider attention by quote tweeting it and pinning the post before a short while later deleting any reference to it from his profile. So perhaps the 18 year old, let's not forget he's still very much a teenager, thought better of it. Perhaps somebody had a wise word in his ear. The damage had been done. Liverpool have no issue with Duncan, with the player having almost two years left on his contract. They are hardly keeping the forward against his will. He signed his contract and he has to honor it, Bobby Duncan. The teenager is very highly thought of by staff and teammates at both uh, the Liverpool Academy and Mayawood, where he trained during the summer. This comes from the Liverpool Echo, this statement, and also there is no indication that Duncan has given anything but 100% in training and in the preseason games or in the under 23 games or at games at any level. As a young professional, he is held in very high regard. However, something is, isn't right, clearly. Duncan left Man City for Liverpool last year in pursuit of what he believed was a better opportunity of breaking into the first team. His, his first season with Liverpool was, was hugely encouraging. A regular in the under-18s that won the FA Youth Cup, Duncan scoring Liverpool's goal in the final against Manchester City's former club. So Duncan actually won a youth trophy 
in his first season at Liverpool he also got a taste of action with the under 23s and in the summer he scored in the first team in their friendly against Tremere Rovers and he made several appearances during the preseason tour on the U in the USA. After he declared that scoring for Liverpool was a dream come true, just, just uh, one and a half months later, he no longer wishes to play for the club. What has changed? The pathway to the first team is the same. Uh, but of course, uh, there, are, there is Mohamed Salah, Firmino, Sadio Mane and Divo Corrigi ahead of him in the packing order and looks like even Ryan Brewster is ahead of him. Maybe Duncan getting too impatient, but at 18 years old you can't demand to have a first team place at Liverpool. You have to earn it. That's my opinion. If impatient, Duncan wouldn't be the first uh, young star to, you know, get twitchy feet and want to move on. Jadon Sancho who also was at Man City at one point, has demonstrated at Borussia Dortmund what can be achieved elsewhere if given the chance. While Ryan Brewster admitted he was tempted by Borussia Mönchengladbach, another Bundesliga side, before signing a new deal this year. There are ways of doing it. And the agent Ruby Saif's statement was borderline dangerous, making sweeping allegations and containing throwaway references to Bobby Duncan's cousin Steven Gerrard and in particular the player's mental health which have served only to cheapen and undermine an emotive and important issue. Where Duncan goes uh, from here is difficult to say. This is an unwelcome headache for Liverpool regarding a player who has never played for the first team. What's clear though is if the striker's agent too, truly has been representative of, of his client, client then Bobby Duncan is done at Liverpool, he will never play for the first team ever again. But if Bobby Duncan backtracks and says that the agent was acting on his own and maybe if he fires the agent and there is a way back for Bobby Duncan, but it's, it's very difficult to say. This is what Jurgen Klopp has said about uh, you know, the young players uh, and also Bobby Duncan during pre-season. I would say it's quite difficult to me immediately be part of the first team squad because we are really strong and it's always like it is. These boys are our future if they want to be our future. That's how it is because for that they need to take all the steps. When you are already in the club then the door is always, always open for you in the first team to the first team. The thing is you have to go through the door by yourself we only open the door we don't push you through so i'm open i'm very open for exciting football players and if the boys show up good for them and good for us so basically this this confirms that if you are good enough you are old enough it doesn't matter how young you are if you are good enough you will play for liverpool's first team so it's up to to you it's up to bobby duncan to prove himself at liverpool but this leaves a very difficult situation even more difficult and even messy for for even more messy for for Bobby Duncan so let me know what do you think about the, this whole issue I thought it was worth a separate video let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching see, see you later guys Good night.